There are numerous reasons to have fun at the Paso Camel Farm. The main one, of course, is seeing the animals up close, but you should also be ready to have fun because the owner, Mr. Paso, loves to laugh. <laughs> And with that two-punch combination of entertaining animals and the owner of the place always ready to have fun, oh, <laughs> you will not come away disappointed. Ralph and Winona Paso had been ranchers and farmers their entire life, but in the late 90s, they wanted to try something new, yeah. so they brought in camels for people to see. We get uh, a good bunch of people comes, and, uh, and we let them feed the animals, and, it's just a way that they can actually have some hands-on contact, which most people don't anymore. They don't have a country place to go. We have lots of, lots of schools, uh, lots of families, and we have a, a number of bus tours that'll have 50 to 100 people. And those people also come out to see the llamas, miniature horses, miniature donkeys, and alpacas, but the camels are the true stars of the farm. We have just recently, in the last two years, we've set up two camel dairies in Colorado, and the camel milk sells for $160 a gallon. Very healthy, and uh, our camels, we sell them very high dollar. And when I asked Mr. Paso where the initial idea came from to bring in the camels, it was the first of many answers where I would see his extremely lively sense of humor, yet down-home philosophy. My policy in life is, if you're going to do something, don't get in a line. Because if you get in a line, you'll never be first. So there ain't nobody raising camels, so I am the line. You not only will have an enjoyable time, but you'll also learn a few things while here. For example, I learned that there are two kinds of camels. Dromedaries have one hump, Bactrian have two. The gestation period is around 13 to 14 months, and they are not picky about what they eat. They're just like a big goat. They will eat all the trashy stuff. Weed, they eat thistles, trim your trees as high as they can reach. They're just a really a beneficial animal. As for the miniature donkeys, they are the nicest animal that we have. They don't have a mean bone in their body. They just want to be petted and fed. And they are, they're awesome little animals. And when I asked him for a fun fact about the llamas, there is no fun fact about a llama. We have the llamas because we used to do lots of nativity scenes. With his wife, Winona, whom Ralph describes as... She is probably the hardest working woman around. She does very good. You will learn something about these animals and you will have an amusing, very enjoyable time and you're going to laugh. We want everybody to come out and have a good time. Laugh, laugh, laugh. It's good for you. That's uh, since I got hurt and I can't work much. I just try to make everybody laugh. <laughs> <laughs>